Yeah, so this exciting. meeting is being recorded. Hello, good evening to everyone. We want to welcome here Mariola Kostovitz. Thank you. <laughs> Today we are we are going to continue our series of the importance of structured SRT. And there was a very nice comment that one of our practitioners, Katie, wanted to tell us. Please, Katie, can you tell us your Hi, opinion? everyone. I was just telling Mariola that the last time I saw her, she um, helped me out with clearing a bee, bee allergy. And um, I guess you could say it was an allergy to sugar. I would have inflammatory reaction uh, where my joints would swell up. So we, we well, Mario cleared that out and I just say it's gone. It's gone. It, you know, I believe it's gone. And um, I eat sugar and nothing happens. And the bees are leaving me alone this year and I'm not afraid. So I'm out in the garden and I don't, I don't really care about them anymore. So it's great. It's great. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> yeah. Thank yes. you, spirit. <laughs> And thank you, SRT. Thank you. Yes. And thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I'm so happy for this. I see thank many, you. many miracles during the uh, SRT uh, clearings for my private clients. Many, many miracles after the sessions. Yes. I have my miracles too after the clearings. Health. I'm talking about the health issues. Yes. That's amazing. We will never be uh, surprised enough from SRT. It's, yes. um, we are, yes, we are so, so blessed. I think we are it. blessed. Yes, and mm -hmm. then that we have this SRT. So can we start with the meditation Please. or are we still waiting? No, we are now on time. Let's go. Can we see at least some Maya, Malia, Patricia, one plus? There was another person and disappear. Mary, Mary. But it's okay if they are not here. So most important, we're here. Okay, so let's go with the meditation. So just quiet your mind. Close your eyes. Quiet your mind and center yourself. Breathe deeply and easily. Let go of any worries and anxiety, any emotions. Just be and feel your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And now that you are safe here, that the presence of spirit, presence of God, divine love spirit is with us. And welcome spirit energy within you because spirit is always with us, with his love towards us. So just accept this, that spirit love us, is within us, and we're working with spirit as a team. So we are clear, loving channel for spirit works through us. And I wanted you to feel comfortable and bring your attention to the top of your head and say to yourself, may my mind be filled with ease and serenity, love, calm, compassion, and peace. May my mind be filled with ease and serenity, love, calm, compassion, and peace. Imagine feeling this well-being flow down your face, 
relaxing all muscles in your head. Then down your neck, shoulders, arms, into your hands and fingers. Let the relaxation flow down your back, washing away any tension until the top of your body is light and easy. Feel the relaxation radiate down your chest and abdomen, softening the muscles to be calm. Let this well-being move through your hips, legs, and into your feet and toes. Let your muscles all be in harmony and peace. Place a hand on your heart and send yourself care and tenderness and say, may I be safe from harm? May I be happy and peaceful? May I be strong and healthy? May I take care of myself with joy? Connect with your spiritual wellspring of love and begin to accept self as you are now. And when you're ready, open your eyes and come back to your room and life. So can we start, Viviana? Yes, of course. Please do. Okay, so what I'm think what I'm gonna do right now, how many total people are here in the call with us? They are about um, five people. Okay. So we're gonna I gonna we're gonna do uh, prep to work. He, healing and map up. But first I will gonna do prep to work for us as a group, okay? And then we're gonna start to talk about this. <laughs> so when I'm asking is I'm a clear neutral channel, loving channel for spirit working through me. So because we are five, all of us, I'm gonna ask how long is gonna prep to work high, uh, group, high self and as a group, it's showing me zero, so I'm asking to prep to work us. So prep to work is very important, which I was talking, not only us, but our high selves. We were talking about the first meeting, but I am always, always, when I'm teaching, I always say how to prep to work is very important. So because prep to work, we request to high self spirit to clear any blocks to working for us, that means programs, discardants, separates, any type of extra cells to close any openings through which discardants, other blocks can originate and set up shelf for us. Also, we are asking to update ourselves, us and high selves committees, including high self guardian angels with all new information, wisdom, light, truth, understanding, ensuring that is downloaded, assimilated, workable, thank you who we are working with, it's spirit, thank you. So now we are asking to download all the wisdom, light, knowledge, understanding, and truth of this one universe and SRT, what, are, what was, what is, what will be, everything, even SPR, why not? So make sure spirit is downloaded, assimilated, workable, usable for all of us and our committees. Thank you. They're showing me 100. So I'm asking, are the 13 bodies of negative programs are cleared? No. So let's go clear negative programmings for 13 bodies, balance and harmonize all bodies. Thank you. So we are asking to uh, verify spirit that spiritual committees minimum size, maximum effect. Yes. What is the lowest level of consciousness of our committees? They are the lowest one above chart three. That's good. Guardian angels, healing committees, wholeness committees, all 
beings who are working, divine beings who are working for us, they are very high. Thank you, spirit. Verify that all black interference extra cells has been clear. Now let's go clear them, remove. How many remain blacks? Interference extra cells, zero. So let's go find how many. What is the ego for us? Neutrality, black direct healing, resistance, or self punishment. Now, so please uh, set up for us very strong shell. Clear the Zoom, clear the, uh, uh, all the spaces, the homes where we are right now, and computers. Thank you. So, are we clear as a group? Beautiful. So, we are clear. The craft work is very important. Why? Because uh, when we do, when we're doing prep to work, we want to be sure that we are clear and the, and the prep to work is complete. That's the reason we have to ask questions and verify the answer what we're receiving. Next, kind of like SRT whole process, we have a, like three aspects of this. Prep to work, then clearing programs, issues, challenges, and the map. So I always uh, wanted to talk from the beginning. So prep to work is okay, it's done completely. So maybe it's time to start to for some clearing. So as a group, because we're bringing something to, uh, together, it's not coincident that we are together here, yes? So is there a program for us to clear? When, we, when I, am, I am researching anything, I always start with this, with the, uh, with the uh, question, is there a program to clear? And they're showing me, yes. Do we have to research? No. So that means the program can be cleared. It's much easier even. Is there another program to clear for us as a group? So always we're starting with the program. I learned that most important is to ask more questions because the program can be cleared, but there are some maybe something else about the challenge or issue. So when, I, when I'm asking if the, if the program is clear and it's clear, that's good. But is there anything else to clear? No. So maybe something, what percentage, anything needs to be cleared on the mental level, zero. Emotional level is 50 percentage. So I'm going to chart one. I'm asking what needs to be clear for us as a group. And spirit is showing me 6A. It means emotional level. We are running some emotions. So what is the emotion? And they're showing me inside left, abandonment. Abandonment by, sp by spirit, by themselves, by others. So let's go clear this emotion for us. Thank you, spirit. How much left emotions still or emotion on emotional level? 20 percentage. What is it? And this spirit shows me 6A. What is it? Addictions. Addiction to what? To frustration. That's a good one. Yes. So past, present, or both. This is because we're not clearing only emotion from, from this life. So it's a past, any lifetimes, and this lifetimes. Thank you. So how much is clear? What percentage needs to be more clear? So even they showing me over 100 is clear, the spirit showing me, but still 10 percentage is clear. So I'm asking what else on the emotional level? And Spirit is showing me adultery. Adultery, that means it's negative thinking, negative emotions, consciousness. So let's go ask to clear. Thank you. How much left to clear on the emotional level? Zero. So what percentage is clear? And my intention is that it's clear infinitely. Not 100, but infinitely. And they're showing me yes. Robert Detzler was teaching that infinitely, when you're asking it side by from side to side, it's infinitely. So you can make your language. For example, for me, I, I wrote it under the 100, I wrote infinitely, and my spirit is showing me that it's clear infinitely. So we check mental, emotional, how about the spiritual level? Zero, but on the physical level, something to clear. So they're showing me 40 percentage. On the physical level, spirit is guiding me to chart 19 for us as a group. And chart 19 is a beautiful chart. Is it inside or outside? Outside. Replace worry. We all have, a, we live in the energy of, pool of energy. Yes, it's a fear, anxiety, worries. So let's go see what we are worrying with. 
Okay, so I like to work with this because they're showing me, my, my spiritual committees, there is a, uh, an abandonment energy and fear. So I like, to, I like to work with the releasing statement a lot. I don't know if you're using or not, but very important is to let go uh, to the releasing statement, some negative thoughts, emotions, all the time. If you, for example, driving in the car, if you are cooking or cleaning or doing something and you know your thoughts, you are aware what you're thinking and they are not positive, releasing statement is the best because very quick replacing the negative thinking emotions, even the releasing statement is clearing the programs. So let's go do together right now, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna say aloud to yourself because it's very important sometimes say aloud. So I release all belief, perception, and judgment that my peace is blocked by worry, abandonment, and fear. I release all needs and desire to believe that my peace is blocked by abandonment and fear and worry. Just take a deep breath in and release out. I now completely accept and believe and instruct my subconsciousness to accept and believe on all levels of my being that I am free from fear. I am free from uh, abandonment. I am free from worry. I feel happy, healthy, harmony, truthful. I feel vital. I am thoughtful. I trust. I trust myself. I trust spirit. I trust and I'm supportive by love and love of God. And I like it and it feels good. Take a deep breath in. Do you feel more peaceful? Yes. So I wanted to say something if I can. Sometimes I, uh, people complaining that SRT doesn't work, for example, or the symptoms does, does, don't, don't, don't go away or something else. But this is not the truth. This is the judgment. Because SRT is a very beautiful modality. And when you are clear, pure channel, neutral, your ego is low, and this channeling spirit through us and using SRT, it's, my, it's clearing, healing a lot on the spiritual level, mental level, emotional level, and you can feel on the physical level. Why, spirit, why sometimes people, they don't change? because we have a limi limiting belief system, which everything around us is a belief. So whatever we believe is manifesting in our lives. So if something doesn't change in the, our life and the, and the clearing is done, we have to change our conscious mind. How we can change our conscious mind? Through the releasing statement. Release all of all, that means being aware what we're thinking, what we're feeling and do releasing statement all the time. More we're gonna do releasing statement, more changing, everything is changing for better and better. That's what I learned. So very often when people are waiting that we're gonna clear and everything will be changed, yes? Clearing is one thing, but we need to take responsibility for our thoughts and emotions, how we're reacting, how we're responding and and how we manage our energy field. That's very important. So if I feel angry, I won't blame the person who triggered for me this anger, because this is me that my thought about this person who makes the feeling angry. So this is my responsibility to do releasing statement or let go of this anger and start to focus on some, something good. But we practitioners, we know uh, from SRT the releasing statement. It's very, very helpful. If I don't like something, I'm doing releasing statement for everything. 
Even if I'm judging something, someone or something, oh, this person is this and this and this, I will do very quick releasing statement and replace this person is very positive manners, positive energies. That's what we can do. So I wanted to share this with you because sometimes I have a calls from, the, from my clients say, oh, that doesn't work. I feel again down or something. Of course, because many people didn't know they are not present in the body. They are above the body. They are in the fear. So most important is to check, am I in the future focusing on the old stories? or I'm in the, uh, I'm the past focusing on the old stories or I'm in the future in the fear because I don't know what's gonna be. Most of people, they, don't, they fear about unknown. I was there too, but we all in this path, spiritual path journey to ourselves, to this love, to the presence of spirit within us to feel safe and to trust. So we're creating our realities. Yes, we can do a lot of clearing with SRT to remove our lots of stuff, and then we can recreate everything what we created in now, because the future is today. So if we are aware, we are present in the body, we know our thoughts, we can change very quick for something positive. So when I'm working with the SRT, for example, with spirit using SRT modality, so I have um, more and more questions asking. If something doesn't change, why it doesn't change? Is the reason for this? What percentage I am allowing for this changing? Or maybe I'm not allowing. I am willing to change. Maybe I'm not willing to change. There are so many questions you can, you can ask. We cannot be focused on the, our program is clear, energy is clear, that's it. No, you, this is your most important relationship with spirit. So you can ask more question and more question, and more questions to improve, improve your life and everything, every aspects in the life. So if you're not improving, for example, everything is, is clear, you can always ask, I'm gonna ask right now because I ask on the program, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, nothing else. So I'm gonna ask, is it anything, any aspects of the life? that needs to be improved for us as a group. That's what is chart two, times and challenges. So let's go on the chart two and ask which aspect of the life for us as a group needs to be uh, clear. <laughs> They're showing me money, no income, but money. <laughs> That's a good one too, yes? So everyone needs money, but let's go talk a little bit about the money. Money is the energy and everything is coming from the source of divine love. So money, they are from the same source. So I'm gonna ask this way, how much positive energy as a group? I'm not, I'm not talking individually. We have a positive energy on money, Tori, negative 100. So I, I learned something from different teachers that we can clear very quick Spirit, not we, I'm sorry. Spirit, uh, high self is gonna clear, yes, without even research past lives. But we don't know if our conscious mind will let go. So I, when I chart to, I learn it will be nice to ask research past lives, clear, or maybe releasing statement. And spirit shows me releasing statement. So let's go do together. We're gonna do releasing, and I will say that man uh, black and limit with energies from 6A, and then we're gonna on 6B to what we have to replace. Okay, so please repeat after me. I release all belief, perception, and judgment that my relationship with money is black and limited. I'm going to chart 6A, and spirit is showing showing me by the energy of domineering, despair, depression, unworthiness, adultery, hate of life, greed, cruelty, fatigue, forsaken. Take a deep breath in and release out. I release 
all needs and desire to believe that my relationship with money is black and limited by abandonment, abuse, hate of self, hate of life. Is it inside now? Outside? Show me clearly spirit inside and ego. Take a deep breath in and release out. I now completely accept and believe and instruct my subconscious to accept and believe on all levels of my being that money flows to me easily from all directions. That I'm money, that relationship with money are supportive by giving freedom, gentleness, gratitude, and joy. And I like it and it feels good. So you can use releasing statement a lot. I remember when I was reading books, Robert Dessler, that when we're doing, when we're doing a releasing statement, we can clear also, we can clear programs from the past lives because most of the energy we have it from the past lives too, yes? So which, Platypus in the spiritual healing book. Platypus is very important to use sometimes to let go of this release of limiting beliefs from not only past because you have another lifestyle too. Okay, so that's about the clearing, like you know, doing session. But I will ask, for example, more is there anything else to clear, do, heal, or improve? So I'm going to go on the chart one and ask what needs to be improved. And I'm asking spirit, when can I find the, the information? And spirit, a high self is giving me chart 19 for us. So I'm going to chart 19 and I'm asking spirit, is it inside now? Is it outside? Yes. Meditate. Do we have a blocks to meditate? No. So maybe we need to meditate something. So if we don't have the blocks to meditate and we need to improve our meditation, so I'm asking spirit over chart one, what, what do we need to meditate on, okay? And spirit is showing me 6B. So let's go see inside left on giving freedom. So what is it? Meditate, meditation, meditate on giving freedom, self or others? Others. So very often we want to, to change other people, yes, including clients. But when we're working with spirit and SRT, we cannot change anyone. We need to stay center, grounded, neutral, loving channel, allow, allow spirit to guide us. Whatever client has, we can help with the questioning, but healing is between client and spirit, yes? But if we don't know how to give freedom for others, we wanted to change them or even not about the clients, maybe about the close people, children, husband, boyfriend, wife, who knows? So we wanted to learn how to give freedom for them, for ourselves and for others to process the journey, whatever is going on. Yes, so spirit says days, no weeks, how many weeks? One week, twice a day, just stay like a three minutes and you know, center grounded and uh, and meditate on giving freedom. Okay, so this one will be completed later. We have a very beautiful also releasing statement, uh, uh, reparenting, spiritual reparenting. If you didn't do that yet, I will suggest to do for nine days, at least once a day, uh, uh, separately for mother, separately for father, because this releasing statement is gonna improve your self-love to yourself. Thank you, spirit. So is anything else to clear, to do, to heal? More to do, more to heal. They're showing me chart seven. Okay, so let's go see to chart seven. Inside, now outside. And it, it, high self indicates the world of Zen. So what does it mean that we need some healing and peace? Because Zen represents peace, yes? Mindfulness, peace. So I'm asking to download for us the healing. Thank you. Any other healing? Now, so when I'm working, I don't know if you know SPR or not, but if you don't know SPR, 
you can always ask spirit and SRT or healing because for me it's like SRT is like a clear, clearing clearing or healing maybe this way so if healing you can always ask uh, on the chart seven what needs to be done or maybe spirit wants you to focus on the spiritual healing book some patterns from the book yes okay when i'm i know spr then i always ask what else spirit srt spr or other other for me it's a healing or healing book so this kind of this is my language with my spiritual committees okay so everything is clear anything else more no so let's go do map up so if there is nothing more to do anything more to do anything else to do now they doing map up so map up if you see on the page five yes on the as prep to work procedure clearing programs and map up so spirit is completing map up right now and when they say yes that means it's map up complete but it's very important to ask question on the end of the session on the end of the map up because if you're gonna read for your prep map up you're gonna uh, you're gonna understand why the map up is very uh, also important the first of all they saying me there is nothing more to do that means my spiritual committees there's nothing more to do and the map up is complete i'm going to ask spirit verify spirit that map up is complete yes now the next one are there any programs coming up to be clear no so we were clearing us as a group yes spirit was clearing so i'm asking does the spiritual beings agree that they are cleared yes that's a very important our high selves agree that we are clear no so i'm gonna ask now why over chart one so what they're showing me on the left side of chart one uh, on the chart one uh, uh, i'm sorry chart 14 we go into chart 14. So I'm going, what is it, spirit? Subtle others. So let's go clear. Thank you. What percentage is clear? <coughs> Infinitely, how much left to clear? Nothing else on this chart. So now I'm going to ask, is my high our high selves agree? My high self and our high self or your high selves agree that we are clear? Yes. So that's very important. So now what level of consciousness are we? So I'm going to chart three and, and find out on the page, page two, chart three, we are very high. Okay, so now do we have all pre-programmed illness accidents. I don't have to repeat this one, but you know that's what is it. But um, all pre-programs, number A is clear. Yes. Okay, and uh, do we have to do maybe brain restructuring? No, because it's the care of in the map up. So now I have to verif ask to ver verify some question. What is the percentage of accuracy? 100. What is percentage of completion? 100. So other thing is if the prep to work is not done after the session, because it's very important, on the page of five, you have some under map up, you have a number one. For example, is there, more, is an, is there anything more to do? And you got yes. There are some questionnaires. Sometimes your high seller will gonna send you to, to chart seven maybe, or maybe I'm gonna read this one because it's very important, okay? If you got that is something more to do, you have to uh, uh, hold your pendulum over chart one and ask what needs to be done. If high self indicate chart seven, then ask for healing to be applied in all levels. But verify that everyone, if you're working on someone, you have to verify that the person has a spiritual healing committees. Sometimes they show up without committees. What does it mean? They have a committees, but they need to be activated, maybe this way. If you are sent to another full research around, so probability, probability that there are some blocks or interference for me or for the client or maybe spiritual committees, yes. That you're gonna ask for the clearing, but you have to ask question, yes, who has those blocks or interference. But if the pendulum moves in the circle on the, uh, on the chart one, there are four possibilities. Could be miscellaneous, 
not on charts, that means there is something brand new goes on stack nine or clear chart or chart that everything's everything plus the nine stacks. So that's the reason we need to ask those questions and being aware present when we're asking this so you don't miss anything or do you, you're not assuming that everything is clear. The, the, uh, the, this is the art of asking questions for everything. Robert Dessler teach everyone to ask and ask and ask questions if you wanted to, uh, to receive something. So this is very important. So, but the map up is complete. Sometimes maybe you're gonna be guided to chart zero two to find with the organs and glands. That means it's on the chart 32, we have a zero two organ and glands during the map up, yes. But if you're not if you're not guided that it means everything is clear. So and everything is uh, 100 accuracy and completion. Sometimes we have a persistent uh, some issues on challenges. Yes. So everything I don't know if you were reading or not, but there is uh, on the on the page six from the prep to work and clearing and map up there is some question you may need to ask if there is another reason that causing the problem why not because if you have a clear program about your problem or issue and and you're asking is there something more to clear no but is any other reason for this issue yes so there is a different question what is the reason you're going to find over chart one for example, because program is clear, but there is another issue for the same issue could be another reason or a root cause, or there are so many questions we can ask. So we can ask if the spiritual being or soul, whatever you wanted to name it, spiritual being may, may want the client to suffer as a part of learning process. So if yes, we can ask to, clear the soul, yes, spiritual being. So we want to more focus on the positive or spiritual being may want to continue the original plan for the life rather than changing and setting the client free to experience a better life. We have also shit with this sticky issue. That's very important. You can find what is on the sticky issue, but we are asking for the spiritual kick and re-educate all of the beings that we are here to enjoy the life. We don't have to continue with the previous whatever cell brought here. Thank you, spirit. So that's kind of like a session looks like. But very often when I'm working with others or with myself and spirit, and I know what I'm working for the issue challenges, I always do releasing statement a lot. If you, for example, do not trust yourself or you do not trust to spirit or you do not trust to your, maybe you, maybe let's go ask this way. I'm gonna ask something, okay? How much positive energy we here holding on SRT? 100 positive, zero negative. How much positive energy we holding on our high selves? Good, 100. Spirit, 100, zero negative. How much positive energy we are holding on guardian angels? And they were showing me 85. Look at this. And zero negative. What 85 means, that means we, know, we don't know how to hold positive energies on our guardian angels. So let's go to the releasing statement, okay? I release our belief, perception, and judgment that my relationship with my guardian angels is black and limited by the energy of despair. Let's go clear. I release all needs and desire to believe that my relationship with my guardian angels is black by the energy of despair. I now completely accept and believe and instruct my subconscious to believe on all levels of my being that my relationship with my guardian angels is supported by freedom, wisdom, and love. And I like it and it feels good. Good. 
good. So let's go now ask how much positive energy we're holding on guardian angels, 100. So guardian angels wants us to help in every level, but they cannot help if we're not asking. We need to ask them because we have a free will and they won't do anything against our free will. Good. So I'm asking spirit, is anything else? To clear, to do, to have? Nope. Any advice for us? Oh, yes. Let's go see. They're showing me 19. Inside, no outside. Taking break. <laughs> what does it mean, taking break? Sometimes we need to take a break and focus on ourselves, to care, take care of ourselves. That's a nice... That's a nice advice for us. Good. Listening music, go for a walk, something to do for us, what we like. It. Thank you, spirit. Anything else? Nope. So what else we can do? Viviana. Maybe if there's any question or someone Anyone wants to share have something. Some question or share, that will be nice, yes. Anyone? No questions? So let's go this way. Wait, let's go ask this question. What percentage, how we can improve relationship with spirit? Maybe this way, that's right. Because spirit equals love. So also, you know that on the chart uh, 9A, we have an iodine, yes? iodine when spirit shows you when your high self shows you iodine probability that we have that past lives when we cursed or denied god god equals good when we did and we are part of we are we are god too we have the energy of god so when we cursed and and cursed and denied god in the past lives then we, we cursed and denied ourselves and our good also, so let's go ask spirit if any of us on, on the group has a past lives when we cursed and denied good. Yes, so spirit is querying. Any other programs? No. So I'm going to ask this way. What percentage we have a positive energy on God? 100, zero negative. On good, 100. What percentage we are open to receive our greatest good? 20 percentage as a group. Do we, uh, do we have to research spirit now? Can be clear, so please clear. So what percentage we are open to receive our greatest good? What percentage we are closed? 100 open, zero closed. I love to always start with the numbers. What percentage is positive? What percentage is negative? Now the beauty of this system is kind of like a skill. I didn't understand at the beginning. That's what I'm calling the structure. You have prep to work. And always ask, uh, when you do prep to work, always, if my prep to work is complete. If not, go on the first page or second page, ask what did I miss? Because sometimes we don't, we maybe what, you're not neutral or something, we can miss something. So you can always ask, ask questions, ask. And then the second step is uh, uh, to researching, but it's not only program. There are so many different questions you can ask. Also, map up. And most of that, also healing. What percentage we are open for healing? What percentage we are black? What percentage we are accepting healing? What percentage we are not accepting? How much positive energy we are holding on healing? How much negative? As a group, we are okay. But what percentage we are allowing to be healed? Or what percentage I wanted to be healed? There are so many questions you can ask. So if you will see there is nothing change, just do prep to work and ask, ask your high self be educated about your challenges so they can recognize 100%. So this way they know how to look for more information. But I learned something. No one and nothing can block us. Our conscious mind can block the clearing or healing. So very often check where is my ego? Where's my neutrality? Who I am working with? What level of consciousness I'm receiving the answer? This is very important stuff. So when it comes to healing, if the healing always, I'm asking, 
if the healing is taking place 100%, that's good. But there is no blocks, nothing else. Okay, that's very good. At what percent are you going to see improvement with the healing? 100, that's good. So because sometimes it's going to be maybe less. Allowing for a healing, being the flow with healing, there's so many you can ask. What percentage open for healing, want to be healed. So next one, we were talking about, the spirit is clearing something. Okay, is anything else? No. So healing, SRT clearing, from SRT healing could be healing mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, why not? You can always ask. Any questions? Or is there any comment? Yes, any comments? Maybe you want to say something, please. I think it's funny that the freedom got brought up because I've been really struggling with keeping the ego down to less than 3%. And during the day I do it, um, like when I'm doing things like stay neutral, stay neutral, stay you know, over and over and over. And it's been so hard lately. So, I so that one, was funny. one thing is when the ego is grow out, ego is very good. We cannot deny the ego. But when we're doing, because it's showing us what's going on in our mind, your body is showing you. But when we're doing SRT, spiritual, uh, spiritual practice, ego has to be below percentage three. So I learned one thing, you can find in your basic procedure from the basic class handout, there is something that you need to check your belief system. Because uh, sometimes we wanted to control, not allowing spirit to guide us. So that's what is control, that's the ego controlling. We cannot stay neutral. Or I like to I like to say when I'm preparing myself for, you know, for the day and working with clients, with, even with myself, I'm asking always, do I have a blocks to working on myself? Do I have a blocks to working on clients? Okay, what percentage I am detached from the outcome? What does it mean? Because outcome is between person and, uh, and spirit, spiritual committees. So my intention is, I am detached from the outcome. I don't know what is it, spirit is guiding me. So I'm allowing spirit to guide me. But if you feel the ego is growing, let's go see, Katie. Is the reason why you, you are not neutral? Yes. That's a beautiful question, yes? That's what you have to ask. Is it program? No. Reason, can reason be clear without research? Yes, let's go clear. It's another reason. No, what percentage you will be able to stay neutral? 50 percentage. So I'm asking why spirit? Where can I find the answer? Left, and they're showing me 6A. Where can I find the uh, 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 left outside forsaken energy? Is it past, present, or both? Both. That means if they're showing me both, that means the root in the past life. So root cause, they're showing me also chart five, Inside, no outside, conscious control. So an ability to trust spirit. So let's go do releasing statement one more, okay? I release all belief, perception, and judgment that I do not trust spirit. And I do not trust that I am re receiving correct answers. I release all needs and desire to believe that I do not trust spirit and I do not trust that I'm receiving correct answers. I now completely accept and believe and instruct my subconscious to believe on all levels of my being that I do trust spirit. I do trust my inner guidance. I'm asking spirit what else? and I feel safe. That's very important. And I feel confident, confident. And I like it and it feels good. Thank you. 
So what percentage you will be able to stay neutral? 100. So also 17 times three. That's when you ask to download for yourself. But if, you deal, if you're dealing with some challenging issues, sometimes we need to ask someone else to help. I remember when I was learning SRT, the, that means, uh, you know, the process since 2004, I have to ask someone else to help too. Because sometimes when we have a two more, two high selves, it's more power, powerful, the same like more, you, you know, uh, like a group high selves, but also when we emotionally attach to the outcome, we don't see and we are not allowing spirit to guide us. So that's that, and we're not, uh, we're not receiving this correct answer this time. So it will be good to ask always someone to help you with this. Mariola? Yes. Mariola, uh, here I have a question from Pat Patricia. Okay. Uh, can you check please is, if the group is blocked to work with clients. Oh, Thank you. That's good. So any of us, are you practicing Patricia with the clients? Yes? No? Okay, you're not practicing, but do you want to practice? Yes, that's what you, that's what you mean. So can I, can I say something, uh, uh, Viviana? I'm doing tomorrow my students, SRT students meeting, and we're gonna go tomorrow about, uh, about business, clients, success, prosperity, clearing. So email to me, I will be happy to have you tomorrow on my meetings. So if you wanted to, but today I'm gonna ask Spirit, do we have a blocks to maybe different one because we're talking about the clients, yes? But do you have a blocks, um, not you. Spirit, show me, please. What do I have to ask about the clients? Okay, so let's go do it this way. How much positive energy we're holding on clients as a group? Zero, negative 100. So what is it, Spirit? They're showing me chart four. There is a program, self-punishment. When the program was established, Bardo and the past life route. Okay, do we have to research? Yes. So we, as a group, who we were, guardian angels group, we were guardian angels, okay, group. Anyone else involved? Yes, who is it? Daughters group. Oh, what kind of daughters? Uh, students noon group. How many groups? Two. That means we group and the student noon group. Yes. Okay, so we are guardian angels. So we are guiding this group. Yes, anyone else involved? No. Wasn't harm or hurt? No. So we're going to 6A to find the energies. And the energy is depression, alcoholism, outside, no, inside abandonment, guilt, and self-punishment. Is it enough to clear this program lifetime? Yes, so please clear spirit. Thank you. Is program clear? Do we have another program that causing us to have negative program, uh, 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 energy on clients now. So how much positive energy we're holding on clients? How much negative? So what percentage the group is open to having clients? Only 30 percentage. Do we have to research? Yes, okay, so I'm going on chart one. What is, I'm not assuming that research is a past life. Research could be something else. So where can I find the information outside left 10A? So let's go see, what is it? Hard vows. So uh, I have a list of the hard vows and I'm asking what kind of hard vows group, group has struggling and the other, yes, show me spirit. Fear of God, anxiety, and the other. No, can be clear, no, why? We have a fear of God, struggling and anxiety. And spirit, we, we have to release, they're showing me 24. Chart 24. So what we, it's a vow also of subservience. So let's go to releasing. I revoke any and all vows to subservience, to fear of God, to struggling and anxiety. And I choose to stay open to daily guidance and decisions that are for my highest good here and now. I am okay as I am. I praise universal source. Okay, so good one. So let's go see next one. What percentage 
we are open for clients 100 what percentage clients are open for for our services 100 but because we're gonna we have to complete this one today yes there are so much more questions so if you would like to i am just email me and then uh, tomorrow at 5 30 pacific time i'm doing for my student i think my that's not my student spirit students okay spirit students uh, meeting about business clients prosperity man including everything about that so anything else so we can ask spirit to increase the clientele for us why not yes thank you but uh, okay there is something still here i'm asking what is it spirit 9, 9b so let's go to 9b Oh, spiritual support meditation we have to clear. There are some programs that are blocking. Thank you. Anything else? Now, is it anything else, spirit? Now they're doing map up again. It's map up complete. So because we did before map up, I can ask this anything more to do, anything more to clear, healing. Yes, let's go apply healing for us. They show me chat seven, whatever we need. Yes. Is there anything else, spirit? No. So map up is complete. Yes. Are there any programs coming up? No. Are we on the highest level of consciousness? Yes. Okay. So uh, what percentage is completion, accuracy, and it, and it, uh, tendency to rebuild, hidden, buried, cover up? No. Okay. So what is to also releasing statement? think about that because some people they I don't know how long you're doing SRT but sometimes could be fear being in the public to to you know to do on the zoom maybe on the phone who knows there are so many different stuff yes but I hope this session helped you a lot <laughs> indeed it will <laughs> indeed thank it you will. very much yes. Mariola Thank you. Thank you so much for, sh for showing up. So remember one thing, SRT, it's a very beautiful modality and it's working, but we need to do prep to work correctly and, that, and also download all the knowledge, wisdom, light, truth, understanding from one universe when we are update, upgrade, because spirit is expanding, knowledge is expanding. So we need to do that all the time because we have access to this knowledge. So, because SRT, for example, we have a 37 charts, but there is more charts. We don't have to know them. Spirit knows, yes? Good. So I always also ask, expand my charts, please. <laughs> expand my charts, please, yes, <laughs> for fun. Okay. So I'm very thankful thank for today. Viviana, thank you. Thank you to doing those thank meetings. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Thank you all also for coming. Thank you all of you to coming. And thank you, Kathy, for sharing your healing. Thank you. Thank you. So next time you're going to show, tell us about the, the, the neutrality. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. the new clients. <laughs> and the new clients. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, so many blessings to all of you and enjoy okay. your evening. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Hi. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. We're going to do more. <laughs>